Grave Hill, part of Next Up, right here on 999 The Fan. At this time, I'm being joined by two very special guests. We have brothers Chase Nixon and Luke Nixon, part of the NC State baseball team. Pack 9 heading to Omaha this weekend. They'll be taking on Kentucky in the very first game, first pitch at 2 p.m. Gentlemen, I guess the first thing I need to say is congratulations on all the achievements this season, but job's not done, right? How's it feel to be going to Omaha this weekend? Yeah, Luke. Uh, it's definitely a weird feeling being as a, a freshman, I feel a little bit spoiled first year, uh, being able to go to Omaha. And, um, I think as the season started, we all had the same goal. And I think we rolled that goal out the whole year, even though some tough times, some injuries, and I think we came out on top and I think we deserve it, honestly. Yeah. As you said, um, <clears throat> dealt with some tough, um, injuries throughout the, the season, Josh Hoke, obviously getting hurt. Did not help us. Shane Van Dam getting hurt during the season and Matt Willickson getting hurt before the season um, certainly put us in a tough spot. We've, you know, responded so well. We believe in one another, and that's just been the biggest thing for us. I guess Luke kind of brought it up. Luke, as a freshman, you said you feel a little spoiled when on your very first year getting ready to go to the College World Series. And uh, Chase is one of the upperclassmen. Uh, you, you've kind of seen this before. And you guys have both been on some championship caliber teams in your high school careers. Just Luke, as a freshman, how's it feel? And then Chase is one of the upper class and leaders on this team. How's it feel for you? Um, like I said, like I feel spoiled. I know Chase had a little bit more um, championship teams in the past high school. I remember his Pee Wee football team went to Florida. I never got to go to Florida. Chase's three baseball teams were loaded, and they got to go to the state championship. Um, as well as our football teams. And honestly, I didn't have that much in high school to do with that. And um, I think it's nice being on the same team now. Maybe Chase has some uh, good luck to him because uh, we're going to Omaha this year. Yeah, no, I've been blessed to play on some some great high school and college teams. Uh, you know, in high school, we won two state championships, my junior and, uh, and sophomore year. And then football, we won my sophomore year as well. Just, you know, being around – all those great players, you understand what it takes to win at the highest level, to to go out and compete and to leave everything on the field. Let's go back to your high school careers just for a little bit because I feel like this all starts with sort of the championship pedigree that is emboldened into the Nixon family. Obviously, your father being a World Series champion, uh, Trout Nixon, and then uh, Chase, your state title for New, New Hanover High School, and Luke, you having some deep runs in the state playoffs as well for New Hanover uh, where, where does this experience rank for both of you guys as far as your, your baseball lives? Uh, definitely the top, for sure. Um, I would say the high school state run was, like, a great moment in life. But um, the the looks on everyone's faces last night when we got that final out and being able to rush the dog pile and see our coaches' faces for everything they worked so hard for for us and everyone, um, it was definitely a dream come true. And – Definitely the probably the best feeling I've had on the on the diamond. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Uh, high, you know, winning in high school was a lot of fun, um, but nothing really tops this, man. I mean, just being in that atmosphere last night with those those Georgia fans and our fans in that ballpark, it was truly a special experience that I'll never forget. I need to correct myself, Trot Nixon, not Trot Nixon. My apologies on that one. But speaking of Trot Nixon, I know he has some very cool uh, memorabilia down in the basement in Wilmington. As far as the Nixon household, take me through the competitive dynamics between the two of y'all, whether it's been playing pickup basketball in your driveway, a game of 2K, Madden. How have those sort of early competitive natures between the two of y'all shaped and molded you into your playing careers today? Well, yeah, this is a this is a great question here. You know, because we, we used to compete all the time, whether it was football in the backyard, baseball, basketball, even video games. And uh, I think all those years of just playing versus each other built this this type of dynamic where we rooted for each other in our own sports. And then we got the chance to play together in high school, the COVID year. Um, we, we really you know enjoyed as little of that season as we had. We really enjoyed it. And I think we both ultimately wanted to play together. And, you know, I couldn't be more happy that, that Luke's here playing with me here at NC State. And, as for next year as well. Yeah, um, I'm, there's too many stories of funny stories and 
of us playing in the backyard with a wall, him letting me get some free stolen bases. I got too many fond memories of that. And uh, even in the front yard playing basketball, even though we're not the best basketball players, we just love to compete, honestly. And I think that's part of our game on the baseball field. It's it's not the most talent ever, but we just go out and compete, and that helps us. I know Legion Stadium down in Wilmington, both of you guys being natives of Wilmington, North Carolina, holds a certain place in your heart when you were playing high school baseball for New Hanover. Uh, and I'm sure back then the goal in your college career was to be in this moment, right, getting ready to play in the College World Series. What do you think both of your high school selves would be thinking uh, right now as you guys get ready to play in the College World Series? You know, I think we – I mean, for me, I'd be shocked. Um, but I did always tell myself and, and to the people around me, whichever college that I decided I wanted to go to, I wanted to compete for a national championship. And just having that dream come true um, for myself all those years ago is truly a blessing, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I think um, players get skewed nowadays on, like, the draft more than winning an actual national championship. Mm. Um, people obviously – go to colleges on where they get the most looks and where they can put the best stats. But I think why we're so good is as a team, we know we actually all have one goal and that's to win a national championship. Transition to both of you guys' college career, Chase Nixon and Luke Nixon join me part of next up right here on nine, 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 the fan, as they get ready to prepare for the college world series for the NC state Wolfpack roster. Uh, Luke, who was the better recruiter? Was it coach Abner? Or was it your brother Chase? <laughs> Uh, definitely Chase. Uh, I remember he didn't talk to me much about it, but um, honestly, it wasn't even in the back of my mind that I could come here one day. Uh, I thought it was a, a in high school I was a little bit worse than the um competition in the ACC, but you know throughout the years I got better and I honed my skills and I'm playing now at a, a team that's competing for a college world series. Both of you guys is uh, dad, Trot Nixon, being a part of the 04 World Series with the Boston Red Sox team. I'm sure he played in a lot of hostile environments, Yankee Stadium being one of them in the playoffs. Did he share any advice with the two of you guys to kind of help you manage the hostile environments you might play in, not only in the ACC, but probably the Super Regional this past weekend and how to just live in the moment and stick to your game? Yeah, no, I think it's more so just to focus on what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish there in the outfield or in the infield or at the plate. Uh, I think when you're focused on competing and just being in the moment, I, th I think those those things you hear in the crowd tend to kind of dissipate. Yeah, I think the crowd just feeds your fire, honestly. Like ECU, um, I know Carolina, they have some rowdy fans, and obviously the SEC like we had in Georgia. Uh, I think it can feed into your game, and if you just go out there and compete, it'll all turn out for you. Luke, as a freshman player, how do you adjust to those atmospheres? Um, definitely something I didn't have in high school. Uh, we are kind of a smaller town in high school. We had good baseball, but it was 4A, so it wasn't like the biggest, like in Georgia and Texas. But um, honestly, I didn't have – I don't have much advice, and I didn't have much going into it. I know Chase – and Trot gave me some advice, you know, just don't feed into it and um, just let your game do the talking. Final question here for Chase Nixon and Luke Nixon, part of the NC State baseball team as they prepare to play in the College World Series this weekend. Game one against Kentucky at 2 p.m. this Saturday. This season has had a lot of adversity this year. You guys have dealt with injuries throughout the season, kind of up and down in performances at times. But then beating Georgia in the winner-take-all series – last night or this past Monday night was sort of the team motto in the clubhouse right now. And what are you guys living by? Cause it feels like at this point in the season for any college baseball team, you kind of have to have a team motto to come together. Uh, yeah, I think team motto is jobs not finished. Um, I think we've already came this, this far, like why not go when uh, the college world series. And I think that's what we're all focused on right now. Yeah, totally agree. Um, it, it's just a simple process of buying into what we're doing, believing in one another, and just going out and, and competing and truly enjoying the moment. You know, I think people get here and they, they they get their heads wrapped up in, you know, Omaha and trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to be, the, you know, the, the, this big great ordeal instead of just going out and doing your job. 
That just about does. I mean, congratulations on what you guys have been able to accomplish so far this season, but I think you said it perfectly. Jobs certainly not finished. So Chase, Luke, really appreciate your time. I'm sure everybody in the town of Wilmington is going to love this interview and supporting you guys back home, and best of luck to the rest of the team as you guys get ready for College World Series this weekend. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Graham Hill with three things you need to know right now from 999, the fan delivered by Talk It Out NC. The College World Series starts today, and one of our local teams starts the action as number four, North Carolina, faces number 12, Virginia, at 2 p.m. on ESPN. Then tomorrow, number 10, NC State plays number two, Kentucky, at 2 p.m., and you can hear play-by-play -play coverage with Andrew Sanders right here on 999, the fan. Game four of the NBA Finals is tonight at 8.30 between the Boston Celtics and the Dallas Mavericks with the Celtics holding a convincing 3-0 series lead. You can listen to play-by-play -play coverage on the fan with pregame coverage begin at 7.30. The NC Courage returned to the pitch this Sunday when they faced the Orlando Pride at 7.30 at Wake Med Soccer Park. You can watch the match on NWSL Plus and tickets are available on Ticketmaster. Find these stories and more on WRLSportsFan.com. As promised, Paul Eihander here, Instagram Hill here on the ones and twos. Elliot Avent spoke ahead of the College World Series, as we mentioned, NC State taking on Kentucky tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock, call here on 99.9 The Fan. He was asked about the 2021 team, and is this edition of the pack righting a wrong? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, I'm not big on revenge, chip on my shoulder. I'm not that kind of coach. Doesn't mean I don't still have harbor real bad ill feelings for a couple guys there and hopefully i'll see them this week and uh, uh but uh what happened in 2021 was a travesty anybody with any kind of responsibility or um anything that they're in charge of for kids that can do what they did to the 21 team they should have immediately resigned in my opinion uh they shouldn't still be working there but uh, so what happened but revenge doesn't get you anywhere except bitter in your own feelings and just it doesn't get you anywhere. But So now he gets to take the bitter taste out of his mouth. He gets to take that bitter taste, that bitter feeling, maybe not taste, but that, that the, the questions of what could have been, right, out three seasons later with this team, with a few members of that team aboard for the ride. But it's a business trip, right? And I think that's where he's trying to toe the line, Graham. See, that's the bit. And before I say what I'm about to say, this is not Graham Hill sitting in a high horse working in sports radio getting ready to say. This is Graham Hill coming more of a fan's perspective. And I see we have people starting to call in, which I appreciate everybody that's listening. I'm saying this more towards my age demographic as far as NC State fans that are still in college. Stop making this College World Series trip about the 2021 team. I'm not denying what happened to the 2021 NC State baseball team was wrong. I'm just saying, you know, it's like in the basketball run this past season that the men's team made. So many people were saying, can we stop saying it feels like 84 and can we start saying it feels like 24? You know, because stop comparing the two. There's enough great storylines on this NC State baseball team this year between the two brothers you just heard, Luke Nixon, Chase Nixon, Brandon Butterworth, Logan Whitaker, or – Whitaker coming from so many coming back from so many injuries. There's enough great storylines this time around that you don't have to rely on what happened in 2021 as motivation. As I, I, again, I'm not denying what happened was wrong by the NCAA. I'm not saying that the NC State baseball team that year didn't get screwed. But it's like Chase and Logan said in our previous interview, live in the moment. Finish unfish. They've gotten this, they've gotten to this point. Finish the job. Don't use 21 as fuel to the fire when you can just enjoy what you have right here in the moment. And there's enough great players that were a part of that 21 team that have also come in from the transfer portal where that should just be enough to enjoy this College World Series run. Well said. Well said. There will be no 
no contests at the College World Series in Omaha. They will be playing for a championship. Starts, Set the jello shots. Starts in 24 hours. Yeah, and hopefully the NC State fans are going to have to get a check in on Rockos on that. I saw the, North Carolina jumped out to an early lead. They were already in the 100s. Well, they got there a day early, too. Like, they were there a day early. That is a lot of jello shots at five bucks a pop. Just saying. All right. Hey, golf's third major will be found on 99.9. The fan, as we know, U.S. Open is at Pinehurst. Our coverage teed up all week long by McConnell Golf. Let's get you a U.S. Open score update with the moments that we do have left here. Uh, Patrick Cantlay is the leader in the clubhouse. He finished his round yesterday at five under par. He tees off at 125 this afternoon. Ludwig Auberg is in second at four under par. There are five other players at three under, many of them on the course right now. That includes Rory McIlroy, who started the day in the clubhouse lead, tied with Cantlay. He is two over through eight holes. Bryson is at even par today through six holes. He is also at three under par. And late charges will be happening, of course, later today with a number of your favorite players. Uh, That includes, hopefully, Tiger Woods. For a lot of you, Tiger is at plus four entering today's round. And there are many, many others on the course right now who probably had high hopes in making something happen today, but it looks like the course is playing a lot tougher there are fewer scores in red than there are in black when it comes to the leaderboard. So listen throughout the day today. We'll have plenty of coverage for you, certainly with the Adam Gold Show at noon and Tim Donnelly with the drive later on this afternoon. But we've got a lot of things coming down the pike today, a lot of action. This is a big championship weekend, certainly in the pro ranks, the NHL and the NBA, and then the PGA Golf at Pinehurst number 2. And welcome everybody in. Uh, who's here for that. And we have, of course, NC State Baseball for you tomorrow afternoon. 